Canadians uh, do not deserve this type of service from their government, uh, and they have every right to be mad as hell about it. Justin Trudeau appoints a committee to cover up the incompetence of his cabinet ministers. Hi, I'm Brian Lilly, political columnist with the Toronto Sun. We've been talking about the incompetence of the Trudeau cabinet for quite a while now. We've got issues with security screening at the airports. We've got issues with customs if you're coming back into Canada, specifically through Pearson Airport in Toronto. So you can't get out, you can't get in easily. That's the situation at the airports. We've got immigration backlogs. We've got passport offices that people are literally camping outside of. So what's the Trudeau government solution? Well, to finally admit that there's a problem and a point 10 different cabinet ministers to an oversight committee to try and fix the situation. I wish I was making this up, but it's right there on the prime minister's website. This committee will be co-chaired by Mark Miller and Marcy Ian. I feel bad for the ministers that they're overseeing, which should be Karina Gold in charge of passports and Sean Fraser in charge of immigration, because you've got two ministers, neither of whom were deemed well, competent enough to be given a full department. They've both got partial departments they're in charge of. And they're now your boss. They're overseeing your work because you can't get it done. Is this anything more than a bureaucratic mess? Look, we don't need another committee. Cabinet is itself a committee. And the members of those committees are put in charge of certain departments. Their job isn't to run the day-to-day -day operations, but to set the agenda, to set the, the tone, and when things go wrong, to fix them. Ministers Gould and Fraser, along with Ministers Algabra and Mendicino, have not been doing that in their respective departments. So now we've got more ministers overseeing a bureaucracy, that isn't working, but they knew this was coming. Andrew Griffith, who used to head up the department that oversaw Passport Canada, sent me the internal report warning of this. And here's what part of it reads. It says, due to travel restrictions associated with the COVID-19 pandemic, passport demand was low for the majority of 2021-22. Forecasts predict that a recovery to pre-COVID-19 demand will begin in the spring of 2022 which it did. And that demand for passports will continue over the next three years. The growth will be due in part to applications being delayed by the COVID-19 pan pandemic and an anticipated surge related to the renewal of the first wave of passports issued with a 10-year validity period. They knew it was coming. They didn't prepare. They didn't get the work done. Now they're just creating more bureaucracy to oversee a bureaucracy that, as I said, isn't working. Why is this Liberal government passing the buck to Member of Parliament's offices when they full well know they should be taking ownership and fixing their own mistakes? Is this good enough for you? Is watching Canadians camp out outside of passport offices good enough for you? Are five-hour delays for getting on a plane acceptable? Is the fact that Police have to be called in to control crowds who are getting unruly because they've been waiting for days acceptable to you. It shouldn't be, and it shouldn't be acceptable for the government. But so far, all they're doing is providing excuses and more jobs for paper pushers. Let me know what you think. Drop a comment down below, share this on social media, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel.